We move on to the stainless steel ball. This is the moment of truth, guys. This is what Elon Musk did, and it was a fail. Let's see what happens. Light to medium difficulty. First throw. Three, two, one. Recently, one person conducted a durability test on the Cybertruck's window by hitting it with a steel ball not one time, but three times. The goal was to replicate the experiments performed by Elon and Franz in 2019 and 2023. In the 2019 test, the glass shattered immediately upon impact from a steel ball. In 2023, they replaced it with a baseball, and it became apparent that Franz reduced his pitching speed, sparking concerns of a potential attempt to manipulate the outcome. However, the latest test yielded a surprising result. The Cybertruck's window remained intact after three hits from the steel ball. Okay, the question arises here. How much exact pressure can Cybertruck's window withstand? Does it surpass what Tesla already claims on their website? Furthermore, how does its strength measure up against other glass? Let's delve into today's video, where I explain all of this using physics principles. 1. How much pressure can Cybertruck's window withstand? Before beginning the calculation part, I want to clarify why testing with Tesla's window durability test with baseball makes nonsense. Baseball's construction, featuring a cork core and leather cover, allows it to absorb and distribute energy across a larger area upon impact. Conversely, the steel ball's smaller size and higher density concentrate and deliver a more damaging force, akin to a hailstone. Now, let's find out the answer to the first question. To figure out how much pressure the Cybertruck's window takes in the steel ball experiment, we'll follow four simple steps. First, we'll measure the volume of the steel ball. Judging from the video, the ball has a diameter of about 2 inches, meaning it has a 1 inch radius, or 2.54 centimeters. Given the spherical shape of the steel ball, we determine its volume using the following formula, resulting in a volume of approximately 68.6 .6 cubic centimeters. The second step is measuring the mass of the steel ball, calculated by multiplying its volume with the material density. With a steel ball density of 7.86 grams per cubic centimeter, the mass of it is about 540 grams, or 0.54 kilograms. Now, on to the third step. Considering that the height of the ball doesn't change significantly when thrown, we can assume constant potential energy. Our focus here is solely on kinetic energy. The kinetic energy is quantified using the following formula, where m is mass and v is velocity. According to topvelocity.net, an untrained adult male can throw a baseball at speeds ranging from 45 to 65 miles per hour. In this scenario, even though we are dealing with a steel ball, for our calculations, let's assume the ball hits the window at a speed of 65 miles per hour, about 29 meters per second. Applying the formula, the kinetic energy will be about 227 joules. Before throwing, the ball is in a static state, meaning the velocity is equal to zero. When starting to throw, the man's throwing force will give the ball an initial velocity. Based on the distance from the throwing position to the car window is about one meter. We can consider the speed throughout the process to be constant. The change in kinetic energy amounts to 227 joules, aligning with the work done. Employing the formula where work equals force multiplied by distance, and with both work and distance known, so when colliding with the Cybertruck's glass window, the steel ball will generate a force of 227 newtons. The final step is to calculate the pressure that the Cybertruck's window must endure during the collision. Pressure is defined as force per unit area. It is expressed as P equal to F divided by A, where P is pressure in pascals, F is the force in newtons, and A is the area in square meters. The largest possible contact area when a collision occurs between the steel ball and the glass window is the area of the cross section of the sphere. We have a steel ball radius of one inch, from which we can calculate the area A equal to 0.002 square meters. Applying the formula, the pressure on Cybertruck's window by the force of the steel ball, 113,500 pascals. In addition, 113,500 pascals of pressure equate to the water pressure experienced at a depth exceeding 11 meters. At a 10 meter depth, 
the total pressure doubles the atmospheric pressure. This elevated external pressure becomes intolerable for the human body. The gas in the lungs compresses, hindering the supply of sufficient oxygen to the blood. Blood vessels in the lungs rupture, filling with fluid. The rib cage collapses, crushing the lungs. Consequently, the heart ceases to beat, and the brain shuts down. 2. Now, let's address the question. How strong is Cybertruck's window compared to other car windows? And does it align with Tesla's claims on their website? Here is a video about Tesla windshield completely damaged by hail. However, I'm confident that such an incident is unlikely to repeat with the Cybertruck due to its improved glass build quality. On Tesla's website, the company claims that their armor glass can resist the impact of a baseball traveling at 70 miles per hour or class 4 hail. To put this claim to the test, a baseball thrown at this speed carries a kinetic energy of approximately 71 joules, and at a distance of 1 meter, it results in an impact force of 71 newtons. The notable aspect here is that the Cybertruck's window can withstand a force of 227 newtons and a pressure of at least 113,500 pascals. This indicates that the force resistance is approximately three times greater than what Tesla has officially stated. So how does its strength compare to the window by other car brands? According to Jerry's insurance, it typically takes 20,000 to 24,000 pounds per square inch of force or pressure to break a car window made from tempered glass, equivalent to about 60 pounds of force, or approximately 267 newtons. Comparatively, the Cybertruck's window can withstand a force of 227 newtons. Does that mean Cybertruck's windows are more fragile than other car manufacturers' tempered glass? The answer is no. Up till now, we are only talking about the minimum force-bearing capacity of Cybertruck glass in case a steel ball is thrown into the window. So, what about more demanding testing? An individual conducted a durability test with a sledgehammer, showcased in a YouTube video titled how hard is a normal car glass compared to the Tesla Cybertruck glass? The video owner used a nearly 4 kilogram hammer to impact the glass of both a regular car and a Cybertruck. The ordinary car glass shattered immediately upon impact, while the Cybertruck's glass remained entirely undamaged when struck by the sledgehammer. Given this demonstration, what's your assessment of the force the Cybertruck's glass could withstand in the event of a sledgehammer impact? And that concludes today's video. While the force-bearing capacity of the Cybertruck's window is undeniably impressive, it falls short of being considered completely bulletproof. Elon Musk has expressed the intention to introduce true armor glass as an optional feature in the Cybertruck, but the realization of this may take some time. Achieving bulletproof status would likely involve increasing the thickness of the glass, making it impossible for the car window to lower. What are your thoughts on today's topic? Are there any other subjects you'd like us to explore? Feel free to share your comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.